You are watching What About Games Let's Play Jesus, The Walking Dead, Episode 2, Start for Hell. In our channel there are awesome videos and uh, our, our most recent review is What About Gaming, Quack Shot for Sega Genesis. Go check it out, you're gonna like it. I am Jesus and this is What About Gaming Let's Play with Jesus. Ow! Hello, this is Jesus from What About Gaming. And this is What About Games Let's Play Jesus The Walking Dead Episode 2 Star for Hell. So yeah, in the last part of the last play, in the part 2 of the last play, I have um, I have managed the food and uh, it wasn't an easy task to choose who 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 give the who to give the food. Um, who to give food. Um, and uh, yeah. It wasn't a easy task, it was a hard task, so yeah. And uh, we also met Andrew, Andrew St. John, who is taking me to his farm. Yeah, he has a dairy farm. Cool, we're going to have milk and cheese today. Well, now we're going to have food back in the, in the, in the group, and uh, I think that's better. I mean, it is better because now we're going to have our food back. But we have in exchange, in, in exchange, we have um, to give him. He asked me gas for his generator in, the, in his farm. So, but first he has to give us food, and we're going to give him the gas. So yeah, before I start, I have to make a quick shout out of the YouTube channel that you have to check out. And this channel is. Class Gamers Headquarters or CGHQ and um, yeah there are lots of cool let's plays in the in his channel here's the link for his channel and um, recently he did a let's play on on The Walking Dead episode 1 and uh, yeah that's pretty cool here's the link for his let's play go check go check it out and go check out his other cool let's plays he has so here's the link for the, the let's play his channel so yeah, let's uh, resume game. This dairy. So this dairy, really you guys food. really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. Ooh. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Oh, they also have vegetables. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily is a smart leader. Me as a leader? Can he keeps us motivated? Me as a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Mm, because of your okay. Past. Does anyone else know? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clinton and Tan might know. They must say everyone been talking at the drugstore. Ask me about it. I lied to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Uh, no, now it's not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. Well, maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up in the day. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor is my home now. Oh, I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Java. That's what I like. Eddie will remember that. You seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Look. Who's, Who's running, running things over there? Lily, Kenny, it's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Change the subject. Enough to defend ourselves. Enough, Enough to defend, to defend ourselves. ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Yep. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. 
Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on the goat farm. Oh, oh that's great. great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You it's... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, Yeah, okay, that's it. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always looking at this. Bandits. Huh? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Oh, Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, but you guys were keeping it up so you yourself! Oh, no. Yeah, and you know what? We ain't at all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered with something, man. Let's just wait this out. Uh, okay, so bandits... Yeah. Fuck you! Whoa, one bandit killed the other bandit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Smart choice, right? Everyone listened to you and everyone saw what happened. Come here, come to shit. Come on, let's get to the dare. I think we have to kill him. Horde, those guys are going to get us and get our food. Yeah, bandits. Great. If I don't kill him, I'm pretty sure he's going to get his gang and kill us. Uh, that's where the game ends. Actually, no. But I think it would be better if you if we killed him. But well, we didn't have much yeah, choice but to watch the Saint John's family deck. Saint John's family buried. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Okay. I'm going to assume that's a lot. For uh, an electric. This is a brilliant setup. Ever had an accident? Don't have kids in this. Ever have any accidents? Nah. They did safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I saw I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mine. I'm going to St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of all blonde hands were from Macon. They go on good We got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yep. What things are looking for you work with? We work together. We work together. Plus we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. We brought kids in. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Big fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully maybe I will make it through this bout and whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow was sick? Look, she we have a vet, but we can bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Mama! All our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some food to help out around here again. Fanny, why don't you come here? It's milk, it's cheese, and... We're going to become zombies. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the ah, trip? Ah, that's I'd want to take someone with. Remember, those roads. That's the end of the game. We I eat the cheese myself. and we die. <laughs> yeah, awful. That's just perfect. Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Okay, so me and Mark and stay are staying. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I so can use some help securing the perimeter. To Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence and get some food fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Don't get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure this place is safe. 
Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing on the way. Not a big deal. Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay, so let's check what we can do um, in the... Hey, Mark. Where am I? <laughs> okay, there's some... Uh... So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Hey, Andy. Is it fast working? Decided to help us out. I know well, right. I, I need the food and we need the gas, yeah, so it is a it is an extra charge. How many weapons do you have? A good supply in the last few months. About yourselves, what kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Are we your first guests? Let's go for the community. Uh, defense is stops the walkers. Defense is enough to keep out walkers. Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Well, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole area? We got lots. We gotta keep training for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? We can't be the first people you've been Those with other folks, and training for gas and food. Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Um, you found out that the other survivors have stayed at the farm, so? That's maybe a good idea to stay here. Let's go fix the work and I can help you. Oh, good. The fence will stop the walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Let's look for weak points. And fix the fence. Everything the electric fence. Whoa, this farm is huge. I thought it was a small I thought it was How's smaller. The place is it safe enough for us to stay? We can? I think it is it's a pretty safe amazing. place to stay. stay. Well, Let's see what it takes to secure days? this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Yeah, everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Right? We'll work it out somehow. We'll work we'll it out, work out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out. Maybe. There's one. There's a narrow... Yeah. Mm. Wait, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Look at what? Zombie? Arrow? What's in the Baby light? said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Yeah. Poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, Hobie was already dead. Let's push the arrow. 
disgusting. Surely it is disgusting. Let's check the zombie. I think he was. But listen, what? It's not. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. He's just a zombie. Let's push the zombie. Using him carefully because we're not sure if these fences are on or off. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless with that case. A fortress needs people to defend it. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean? You can take this place if you want to. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Nothing around this screen. Oh, here's my hand. Here's my hand. Let's push the zombie. This zombie, this zombie is hands. Ooh. Yeah, that's best one is right into his hands and fix it together. Fix it together. Yeah, that's right into his hands. No, it's the same. It's the same one. Together. So let's cut the hands. <laughs> no. Creepy. Disgusting. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know he was going to say that, but no nope is my can't stop I thinking about the dinner. Okay, we're going to have to be nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too. Fuck is on the task. We'll go as before the more. Fuck is on the task. Do they know what they were doing? Teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Yep. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. If they give us this one, must one piece of food, it will be cool. He's tangled up awesome. in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of you. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Let's look on the zombie first. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Push, push fence poles. Let's just hope this fence is the fence power is up. Press the button. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fence is on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, he was trying to kill us. I knew it would happen, but I didn't take much care. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. No. The pins on that kid is only way out. I think we have to. To push the tractor. I think the, those guys are not the guys in the farm. They are. They are someone who, who thinks we are. We are from the farm. Oh, so what do I do? So. Uh, Seriously, what do I have to do? If I press the button, nothing happens. Oh, okay, got you. I have to go back and...
No, that was close. Let's push the tractor. Oh, it's still stuck. Oh, he here it is. using the tractor as a cool cool very cool this kind of gameplay you have to use a tractor as a cover oh no oh. okay let's let's get this body the zombie Oh, the zombie! Ah, more, oh, he's heavy. Dude, those guys are awful. They, why don't they just come in closer? Right? They could kill us if they really wanted. But no, they are using arrows. And how many arrows do they have? Like, anything? Oh my, he's still alive! Oh, die! Die! I'm trying to kick you! Oh, ho oh, holy crap! Go to the fence! Oh, he's, he's following me! Crap! Oh, crap! Perfect, let's try again. You are dead. You have to so you know what happens already. The guy comes back to life and let's kick his face. Let's kick his face. Let's pull his body and tear him apart. Oh, how is, is he still alive? He doesn't have he doesn't have guns anymore. So what do we do? Ah, it's getting closer. Oh yeah, thanks. It was a goddamn ambush. I thought the space was safe. There's a goddamn ambush out there. Holy, Holy shit. Are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. Goddamn hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh, my God. What happened? We got shot with an arrow. Christ. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just give it up. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Okay. You must be the What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. They killed a bunch of our farm men. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. Did you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for you. So much for your deal. Shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any income they were going to give you guys trouble, we would have gone out there with you. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scoop out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I yep. think all of us in our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. And take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while we're gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. That's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope you kids like swings. I swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. So yeah. Man. So yeah, this is Jesus from Waterboot Gaming, and this is... This has been Waterboot Gaming's Let's Play Jesus, The Walking Dead Episode 2, Start for Hell, Part 3. I'm your host, Jesus, signing up. Bye.